everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I've been requested to do a cheese board or a charcuterie board um, for someone for a present for Christmas and I've been asked to do pinks. Um, so I've just done one, which I've done quite a different pattern altogether, but I thought I wanted to try just doing um, three blooms on this one. And I've got this whole array of um, pinks here, which I'll go through in a second. Um, so I'm just going to lay down a base and I've drew, drawn the basic shape that I want um, and then I'm going to do three blooms one here two three um, I think I will do some a little bit of leafage though which I haven't got the paint out for which I'll just do now so I think for my greens I'm going to use the Araldo green light which I love um, and the Araldo metallic palm green so it's sort of a bluey toned green but I think it'll go nicely with the pinks um, and the bright green goes well with everything um, so I'll do those so I'll just run through the colors that I'm going to use so as a base I'm going to use the Araldo rose most of these are Araldos today um, I'm going to use the Montmartre metallic magenta Montmartre metallic pink and then the Araldo Metallic Fuchsia, Araldo Magenta, and Araldo Metallic Magnolia, and Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold, and the Amsterdam Oxide Black as a cell activator. Um, so, without further ado, I'll lay down my base. Um, I'm just trying to think. Yes, so I'm just going to lay down my base and um, go from there. I've got my edges pretty much covered. A little bit of a gap over here. I don't usually put any gesso or anything down, but you can if you like, and it would help the paint to stick on the edges. Um, mostly the paint will stick, but I'm seeing this is sort of going a bit thin on the edge, so I'll have to check that when I've finished and uh, make sure there will be enough paint on there. So now I'm just going to burst the bubbles. And do some leaves. Now I'll have a little bit coming up here. I think we'll have a leaf here and a leaf here, maybe here. It's always hard to know exactly where to put them. So I'll put the green light down first. And they will be covered up pretty much by the um, the blooms anyway. It's just to fill in a bit of space, um, you know, and create a nice bit of greenery. So I'll just randomly put them. And what stays, stays, and what disappears, disappears. And then I will just lay down a little bit of the cell activator. I'm nearly running out actually. I'm just going to blow them out this way. So I always put the little bit of cell activator at the bottom edge of where I'm going to be blowing out. Okay, oops. You've got to be careful when you're reaching over. It'll probably be covered up anyway, so I'll worry about that later. Okay, so I'm just going to get a straw, a jumbo straw. 
flatten it out a little bit at the end and then just going to blow this out with a straw. Right, so now I'll just draw a little bit of shape into those. And as I say, they may disappear. So I'm just using a bamboo chopstick. And just draw some shape of a leaf more or less. Got some beautiful veins and cells on them. These leaves are lovely. I like that black bit there but we'll see what happens at the end okay so there's our leaves to start with now what order will I lay these down in so I'm going to put most of them are metallic anyway I'm just going to lay down the um, metallic magenta to start with so I'm going to have a bigger bloom here and a smaller one in here and a smaller one here. And now I'll go for a lighter colour. So we get the contrast. That's the um, metallic pink. The other one was the metallic magenta, both by Montmartre. And then I'm going to go the Araldo magenta. Oops. To which I've actually added a little bit of the Reeves. Um, what's it called? I'll just get it for you. So the Reeves Iridescent Medium, and it's beautiful if you add it into um, paints. I don't know if you can see it there, but really brings a beautiful shimmer uh, into any paints. It's particularly good if you put it in with a transparent paint. It'll show through better. And this is the Araldo Metallic Fuchsia. And lastly, the Araldo Metallic Magnolia, which is like a colour shift colour. Now I'm feeling like I need a little bit more of the paler pink again, which is the metallic pink from Montmartre on there. These two are a bit close together. We'll see how they gel. And now just a little bit of the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold to go underneath the cell activator. And now the cell activator. I'm 
You don't want to put too much. A couple of little drips is all I need. Oops. Just stuck my hand over here. Now we do need a little bloom up there as well. Um, so I'll just quickly create one. I don't want it to be very big. Oops. And a little bit of cell activator. Okay. So I'll blow that little one out first. I'll just burst some bubbles so. Now I'm not particularly worried about my edge here um, because when I resin, I'm going to do a lovely edge of, um, I'm going to use some of the, this little piggy pigments and put it into my resin and do a lovely edge, which I'm probably going to put some diamantes in. So um, that'll be for another day, obviously. And I may record that when I do that as well, just to show you what I'm going to do there. Okay, so I'm just going to blow this one out. Just wanted it to get up there to fix that up there. It's very pretty. Right, which one will I do first here? Hmm. Do these ones over here, I think. They blend in okay together. A lot of paint in there though. Probably put too much base down, I think. Right, we'll see what these look like once I draw some shape into them. So again, I'm just using this bamboo chopstick, so it's got quite a decent size into it. I'm just going to bring some shape in and just see what they end up looking like. I do like it when you get the um, edges like that, where they're quite um, defined and outlined by the paints. I like that a lot. The gold has taken over quite a lot, even though I only put a little bit on there, which it often does. Love how the magenta 
as I'm really outlined the edges there. And I gave this one an extra few petals. Well, they're really pretty. I think I'd like to do just a small one to go over the edge here. Just a really little one. Can I do it really little though? This is the question. Should be able to. see how little we can make this. I don't want much gold, I just literally want a drip. Because I do feel these have got you know a lot of gold in them. This guy's not so much but um, so that's a drip, literally a drip. And just a drip of cell activator. That's it. Now let's see how small I can blow this out. Right, I haven't got a lot of shape um, with the blowout. But that's fine because I'm going to bring it back in with my skewer. Chopstick, I should say. And that will turn it into a flower, even though it doesn't look like a flower when I first blew it out. Very cute. And it's run over the side, which is nice. I like that. And I might put another tiny one just here. Because that one turned out so nice. Okay, here we go again. Just a little one again. Tiny, tiny. And a drop of gold, literally a drop, K, okay, just a drop. That's it. And literally a drop of cell activator. Just a drip. That's it. Such precision. And here we go again with the um, straw. And as I say, it won't have flower shape to start with, but it will have when I've finished with it. And I'm not worried about um, that being on the edge like that because, as I say, I'm going to do an edge of um, resin at the end. Um, when I resin it, I'm just going to do a whole edge. I 
And these little guys are the best. They're very cute. And these ones are nice too. I, I do like the edge. Where I've got the gold and then the uh, other colours haven't blown out. They've actually just edged each petal, which is really pretty. Do a few little wispies. I really love this one. It's beautiful and it's run over the edges, which is really nice. Now, because I've got a fair bit of base on here um, and I don't really want to spin this out and make them all go skew if everyone knows that's what I'm like. Um, so, fingers crossed, but quite usually usually um, when I've got that much base they still dry quite well so we will see um, and if not I can paint over the top of um, this once it's really hard and dried I can still paint over the top of it um, but fingers crossed it will dry nicely um, I don't think I'll do any wispies on that Draw a little bit more shape into these leaves. So what do you think, guys? Do you like that? I do. I love it, actually. I'm sort of tempted to do one little spin just to thin it out a little bit. Um, am I going to hate myself for doing this though? Just a slow spin. Okay, let just move this one a little bit, which is still fine. I can still see. Two major petals there. Yep, everything's still fine. So I did um, move a little bit of paint off. Now I'm just going to check my edges because the paint didn't stick very well to some of the spots here. So I'll just um, double check those. You just do little finger pops along the edge. It just helps that paint to sit on the edge there. When you're doing these boards, generally they um, are pretty good actually without having any primer coat on there. Just touch up anything that I think looks a bit thin. And when it dries, if any of it is looking a little bit thin, I can just um, very gently touch it up on the edges anyway. Hopefully I won't need to do that, but if I do need to, it's, it's not a major drama. But you do want to have the paint right on the edges there. And as usual, make sure you wipe your drips off from underneath because they will continue to drag the paint off. And make sure that where you've got it drying is on a level surface, otherwise you come back later and it'll all have slipped off one way or the other, which is not a good result. But I love this. I think this is really lovely. I really do like it a lot. I think I just want to do a little wispy bit into here, into that little bit of negative space. Just like that. I don't think I want any wispies anywhere else. Okay, have I done enough? I'm thinking yes. And then at the end, as I say, I'm going to put the resin um, 
around the edge. So it doesn't matter that the edge is wavery or not, um, because I'm just going to get the resin and um, color it with some this little piggy pigments and run an edge around there. And then the rest of it will be clear with glitter in it, of course. And I'll maybe do some diamantes on the edge. Okay, fingers crossed it dries nicely. And um, I'll come back in a couple of days when it has dried and let you know whether it did or not. Okay, I'll just bring you down for a close up. Okay, I just realized I had my main lights on in the um, room here, so I've just turned them off now. So hopefully they weren't reflecting too much, but I have now got the um, flash on. So hopefully you can pick up, oh yeah, you can just see there, the beautiful glistening there. That's from the gold, but it would also be from the reeves in one of the colours and also the metallics that I've used. So you can see they're very, very pretty. And the leaves are just plain. There was a little bit of um, metallic in the leaves as well. But they've turned out really beautiful. The flowers have got that bit of um, colour around the edges, which I really like it when I blow out a little bloom and you get that edging there. Another little cutie over here. And that one there I really love too. The leaves are very pretty, very veiny as I would call it. Lots of lovely veins in there. And there's their main flower there, which is very delicate and pretty. You wouldn't realize how many colors. I mean, how many did I have? One, two, three, four, five pinks in there. You wouldn't think there was five, uh, but there is. So that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that one and, um, and learned a little bit more about uh, blooms, blowing them out with a straw. And I'll come back when this is dried and we can see um, whether, in fact, it did dry, even though my base is quite deep. Um, so we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll see you back here soon. Well, here we are two days later and this piece has dried beautifully. I was worried that the base was a bit deep, um, that I might have trouble with cracking, but it hasn't at all. Um, it's not cured by any stretch, but it is touch dry and um, it's looking really beautiful. Look at that gold. It's going to look so lovely when I put some um, glittery resin over the top and I am going to be um, trying putting some diamantes in the middle of the flowers and also around the edge of the board. Um, so when I do that in the next couple of weeks I'll also video that so you can see that process and how that turns out. Okay so hopefully you enjoyed that one guys and I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Until then stay safe. Bye bye. <music>